actually domestic growth has been uh, more than uh, about uh, about 12 percent but uh, exports from the first half were a little bit low largely because a shipment got delayed uh, in the half year if you look at the half year results exports are actually higher than last year and we expect that uh, exports for the year also will be higher than last year so all in all, I think uh, we are, in terms of growth, going along as uh, we had uh, expected to do, which is double digit. The margins have remained almost unchanged from quarter to quarter. Actually, totally unchanged, I think. Yeah, that's exactly the same. EBITDA margins are absolutely Two the same. And uh, the profits uh, are higher by... Uh, how much is it? F compared to last year, it's higher by 42 percent. For the half year, it's higher by 49 percent, which is in line with what I think people were expecting. So it's not anything which is uh, a big surprise to anybody as to what's happened. The reasons for uh, the higher profits are uh, obvious ones. We had higher volumes exchange rate has been favorable, commodity prices have been favorable, and uh, our cost reduction measures, including quality circles and suggestion schemes, have been performing as well as ever. So all of those have combined to give us this kind of uh, profitability. festival season there, the sales, especially the retail sales, will be good in this month and the next month. Uh, December, of course, is a different kind of thing when, uh, for some reason, for the last several years, people buy a lot of cars in December. So I think this quarter should see uh, reasonably good sales happening. What else is there to say about the results? I think that's uh, all really I need to say on the results. Other events, you know, yesterday we had the launch of the Bellino. The other thing which uh, the board discussed today was uh, the Gujarat voting. And uh, the final version of the contract manufacturing agreement and the lease agreement were approved with all the blanks filled in, you know, we had some blanks about the lease amount and such things. The voting will commence from the 16th of November. It has to be kept open for 30 days and will therefore end on the 15th of December. The results of the voting uh, would be available on the 17th, 17th of December in the afternoon what time? Uh, Three o'clock, four o'clock, something in the afternoon, the results will be available on the 17th. Uh, that's as far as the voting is concerned. And I think with that, we can leave it to open for questions. We had already started the road shows. We met uh, investors, uh, one round of investors in Bombay. And we will met uh, in investors in uh, Singapore. We will be meeting investors in Hong Kong on the 2nd second second. Second and 3rd of November. And then in the UK on the 5th and 6th of November. So you were, were to uh, get a go uh, uh, from Gujarat government side as well for the, the new uh, you know, MOU which is going to be signed between you and the Gujarat government. Have you got that kind of uh, go-ahead from the Gujarat government side? Yeah, everything is clear. Okay. We couldn't have gone ahead like this without everything being... Everything is cleared by the Gujarat government. There are no pending issues with anybody today as far as I know. Yes, we have got a formal approval from <coughs> Gujarat government. Formal Gujarat. approval has come. So, I think there is no regulatory agency now which has to give any further approvals. SEBI has done its job, Gujarat has done its job. Okay. 
we are very confident. <laughs> sure. So are you uh, on track to open the Gujarat plant on time? And given that sales, uh, while sales in India, car sales have been improving, there's still a lot of pressure. Uh, the kind of buying that used to go on a few years ago has still not come back. So one is that, are you on time to open your Gujarat plant? And two is, would you like to delay the opening uh, you know, by a few months if sales don't gather the kind of momentum you expect? We had originally planned that the Gujarat plant would be ready by May 2017. I believe that it may be possible to commission the Gujarat plant actually a couple of months earlier than that. We believe we need the Gujarat plant as early as possible because uh, certainly in 2016 the capacities available in Gurgaon and Manesar will be fully utilized. In fact, more than fully utilized because uh, I think to meet the demand uh, we expect to have to use some of these flexible lines for increasing production and things of that kind. So for 2017 uh, we certainly expect uh, that we will need more capacity in uh, Gujarat otherwise we will not be able to meet the demand. The, the growth of the car market may not be very high but we still expect that because of the advantage which we enjoy in terms of our uh, brand recognition and the loyalty which customers have to us, we will continue to do a little bit better than the market. And uh, that means we need extra capacity. Sir, uh, this is largely from the industry perspective. Uh, until three years ago, you, we used to see uh, growth in the range between 20 to 30 percent every month and year on year as well. So, do we in the near foreseeable future see ourselves getting back to such numbers? Getting back to? 15, 20 percent growth. 20 percent growth. I don't, but <laughs> <laughs> please go ahead. You see 15, 20 percent growth. As far as I look at the current you know, market situation and the global economic condition, it is not easy to be at a high you know, growth rate, but uh, it can be possible that two digit growth if we make a uh, correctly the development product that uh, developing it, uh, you know, market uh, sales network, etc. We believe. And uh, Bhargava, sir, uh during the tenure of the last government, we have heard, had a lot of, uh, lot of statements from various industry leaders about the, the way things were going in the country. Uh, now this government has spent more than, what, uh, one and a half years. So what is your assessment now in terms of the policy reforms which were initiated when the government had come in and in the last six months, how things have gone? <clears throat> you know, in, if you're talking in general terms about what's been happening in this one and a half years with the new government. I would say that a lot of new initiatives have started. A lot of changes have been initiated and are happening. And uh, the intentions and the direction in which the government is going is certainly towards promoting manufacturing in India. The extent of changes which are required to be made in India are uh, very substantial because they are a result of uh, many decades of uh, mindsets created because of socialism and uh, distrust of the private sector and those factors then have led to other uh, feelings of distrust generally because uh, all our systems derived from the British were based on the British system of checks and balances. Checks and balances is another way of saying that, look, don't trust anybody. 
uh, everything must be checked and somebody else must be checking what somebody else does. And that only got strengthened in our systems as we went along after independence. Now, any system based on distrust will never be as efficient as a system which is based on trust and people doing their work honestly. 